Crowd here in Chester, West Virginia, sensing a title for Ball Spadafora through six rounds. He is controlling Pito Cardona for the vacant IBF lightweight championship. Spadafora outlanded Cardona 19 to 10 in the last round. This round, it was 11 jabs of the 19 that landed. You take a look at the punch numbers landed by round, and after the first couple of rounds, Spadafora has taken control and dominated. And Teddy, in between rounds six and seven, for the first time, Kenny Adams took control. John Cipolla has been the lead man with Cardona for a long time, but Kenny Adams laid down the law right there. He sure did, and he did it in no uncertain terms. He said, hey, what are you doing? You're blowing this fight. You're giving this fight away. You better start punching now. Get inside and start moving your hands and stop the crap. Gave him the right words. Now we got to see whether or not those words are heated by Pito Cardona. You can see Cardona, again, his feet are too square inside. He's losing all his power. He doesn't know if he wants to turn south pole and stay orthodox. And by going square, he's given a lot of service to hit for Spadafora. Watch how square Cardona gets with his feet. All right, we go to the corner of Pito Cardona. Kenny oh, Adams joins us. There. And Kenny... I would think we heard you in between rounds. You got to be disappointed that Pito is just not throwing enough punches. No, he's not stepping in like he should. He, he's we, we worked on stepping in just like he's doing now, staying there, shooting combinations up the middle, pivoting around as he do it. If he does that, we're in good shape. But he's not doing that, and he's waiting on the young man. We got to put him. We got to get this young man in heavy damage before we get to the later round. But the devil is going to take a knockout at this point in time. I understand that very clearly. So if got, he's just got to work on it. The young man is a the young man is a hanging Ke tough. He's keeping at a distance. Kenny, but people should allow that. Yes, Teddy. Kenny, how come he's not going to the body more? He's got a guy in there using his legs. He's an experienced guy. Of course, I know you want him to go to the body. Why is Cardona not going to the body? I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't quite understand it. I don't quite understand it. Maybe you know sometimes you uh, you uh, you don't anticipate that a guy is doing things that he's capable of doing. And, and I was hoping that we could stop this guy from doing In other words, you're game. saying maybe he was overconfident. That's what you're saying. It's a possibility. He thought he was going to go in there and just catch him. It could be a possibility. Yeah. But, I, but, I, but I've been trying to downplay that the whole time because I know that, you know, anything can happen in this game, guy moves up to the next level. All right, Kenny, best of luck the rest of the way. You're welcome. Good luck, Kenny. Thanks. Kenny Adams, uh, frustrated Kenny Adams in the corner of Pito Cardona because it sounds like they had a game plan too, Kenny, and the fight is not following it. And Cardona may have been overconfident, thinking this guy's never been in with anybody. He might have made a mistake. All Spadafora through seven. Well, the fans from Pittsburgh sensing the victory. Paul Spadafora controlling Pito Cardona through the first seven rounds of this 12-round championship fight. And Teddy, they mentioned, John Cipolla mentioned in Cardona's corner, you're getting caught between styles. Yeah, he told him, he said, you're getting all messed up with your feet. You're getting inside, you're getting too square. You don't know if you want to be southpaw or orthodox. You better make up your mind. Heads clash again. Well, Cardona's hey, fooling around with his feet. Spider four is messing around with his hands. Cardona uses no jab and he pays the price. See the punch numbers and Spadafora in front. How about in the last round, Teddy? Spadafora threw 53 more punches, 97 to 44, and he outlanded Cardona 22 to 6. You know, sir, Cardona's been in there with the better guys. We've said that before. Spadafora hasn't been in there with top competition, but you knew he had the style. You knew he had the technical ability. You didn't know if he could step up in his class. So far, he's done that. But you wonder if Cardona just went in there, even though he trained real hard, if he thought, hey, this guy can't stand up to my pressure. He hasn't been in there with those kind of guys. You wonder if mentally he was looking a little bit past him, thinking as soon as I land something, it's going to be over. And if he was, he's in for an awful surprise here. Well, he mentioned that he didn't think that Spadafora can handle his heat, his pressure, but he hasn't turned up the burners. And, the that's, part. and that can really hurt you. When you go in there with a guy who hasn't been in with anyone and you think that the guy can't handle you, a lot of times mentally you're not ready to do the things you're supposed to do. And it's hard to change gears in a fight. If mentally you went into a fight thinking as soon as you land you're going to turn it around and it doesn't happen. It's hard to change that. 
And what Spadafora is doing, too, is anytime Cardona has any success, Spadafora answers with a flurry and combination of his own, and that sticks with the judges. Cardona's had a better round this round, but he hasn't been consistent enough. He got inside, he did some good work, but then he went back to what he's doing now, which is just walking in and not punching, and allowing Spadafora to play Matador to the ball. Talking about the mental thing, not being ready for a guy to stand up to your punch. I remember Sugar Ray Leonard when he fought Tommy Hearns in the rematch. Leonard said over and over, when I catch him, it's over with. He really thought when he caught Hearns, like he knocked him out the first time, that Hearns would not be able to take the punch. Hearns came in there determined, did take the punch. I don't think Leonard was able to make that adjustment. He wound up being a draw. I think it threw Leonard off. I think Cardona's thrown off a little bit by how good Cardona is, by how good Spadafora is here. He wasn't ready to have to do the things he has to do here. Well, he said he was, but right now Spadafora is a step closer to a title. Paul Spadafora may be four rounds away from a title. Jesse Reed is right there with him. Oh, Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Let's take a look at the rankings. Well, this is Cable. And you see that Spadafora in the last year has gone from outside of the top ten to number three. Cardona has been ranked number one. And you take a look at the champion, Stevie Johnston, by far the class of the lightweight division. Let's go, baby, let's go! Okay, guys, here we go! And we get set for the start of round number nine. In the last round, Spadafora outlanded Cardona 24 to 12. Okay? It's been a long time since Pittsburgh has had a world champion in boxing. Yes, it has. They may be back, I believe the last one may have been Billy Kahn, the great Billy Kahn, lightweight, light heavyweight champion of the world, who of course tried to be the first light heavyweight to win the heavyweight title against Joe Lewis. And it was ahead going into the 13th round, but got a little careless. It's better for better pick up a little bit of that, uh, information from from Billy Khan and not get careless. He's ahead in this fight. Don't get careless like Billy Khan got with Joe Lewis. Keep boxing. Michael Moore, a guy you had from the Nesson Pierre outside of Pittsburgh. Ahead, fellas. And Michael Moore, of course, won a heavyweight title twice and was the first Southpaw ever to win a heavyweight title. And this area might be known for Southpaws. I know they're known for quarterbacks in football. Western Pennsylvania, Montana, Unitas, Lima. Marino, don't leave, don't leave Dan the man. Oh, man. But what you see is what you get. It's the same thing here, Bob. Spider Four is being allowed to do what he does well, which is change distance, put punches together, and make turns like that. Hey, boy, I just glanced over at the Cardona corner, and they are frustrated. Well, Cardona was frustrated. At the end of the round, I watched him walk back. He was shaking his head. Okay, you have a shutout to eight. I agree. To make the case for one, maybe two rounds for Cardona. See, Cardona got where he wanted, and he did nothing. I won him again. One of two things. Taking nothing away from Spadafore. Maybe it's just Spadafore, but one of two things it could be. Cardona's a little overworked. He overdid it a little bit for this moment. Well, mentally, he just thought that he was going to walk in there, land the punch, and go home. He wasn't ready to fight this kind of fight mentally. He overlooked the guy a little bit mentally. But Teddy talking with him yesterday, and we asked him about all that, and he said, look, if this fight would have been at Foxwoods, you know, maybe I wouldn't have gone to a camp, maybe I wouldn't have done this and that, but when I knew I had to go into this guy's backyard and so on and so forth, and they wanted the bigger gloves, I worked with Kenny Adams, I went to Vegas, I went to camp, I would leave no stone unturned. So, maybe he's just getting beat. <laughs> That's true, but after he said all that, he also said, this guy can't stand up to my power. He, when I get in there, I get in the kitchen, he's gone. And sometimes when you depend on that, you get hurt. Well, he has not hurt Paul Spadafora through nine rounds.
We hope you can join us next week when we travel to Augusta, Georgia, the hometown of Vernon Forrest. The 1992 Olympian is 29 and over, 24 knockouts. Boys for a world title shot. You'll have to get past Santiago Samaniego from Miami, Florida. That's at 9 p.m. Eastern next Friday night on The Deuce. For more, log on to ESPN.com. Part of the Go Network. Go.com. Teddy, Cato Cardona just plodding along. Well, just look at the feet. Look, look at how his right foot, how square he is. He's given too much surface to punch at, and he can't get over punches. He has no power. Both feet are parallel. He's confused with his feet. He's so busy moving both feet and getting square that he's not able to punch. It's about a four is beating him to the shot. Power punches through nine rounds. And this is the amazing part. Spadafora has landed more power shots through nine. Cardona went down. Cardona slipped on the logo. When the logo gets sweaty and gets wet, it can be slippery. Well, how about that? Spadafora throwing 44 more, landing 44 more power shots through nine rounds. You never would have expected that. He's able to do whatever he wants to do right now. The other guy is not the more powerful guy right now because he's not like it. He's not flowing. He's getting eaten alive. But again, Spada, this is a 12-round fight. Like Yogi Berra says, it's not over till it's over. Now, come on, guys. Let's keep it clean now, all right? Keep it clean. We got a good fight. That's why they don't we hand out titles after eight rounds or nine rounds or ten rounds. Like the guy said in that gambling movie, we don't pay off at halftime. <laughs> That's right. Right hand to the stomach by Cardona. I don't see, I don't see the normal power and, and fire in Cardona tonight. Maybe he's just frustrated and defeated. I mean, even though Spider Four has done a terrific job, there's been moments right, when Spider Four has laid inside. Okay, that time he tied up a little bit. That was smart. But Cardona allows him to lay inside, allows him to tie up. This is not the Cardona I expected to see. Taking nothing away from Spider Four. Cardona briefly switches to South Park. See, that's where Cardona, I was expecting him to be effective there. You see when Spadafora stepped out, Cardona punched with him and he was out to catch him. I expected Cardona to do more of that. Now it's gotten to the point where that's what Cardona needs to win this fight. He needs to catch Spadafora either stepping out or staying in the middle punching too long. Right there. He's got to punch with him as he steps out. That's his only chance right now. Cardona's never scored a knockout past the eighth round. Watch right here. When Spadafora moves out, watch Cardona. Look, he's looking at now. But it's, it's, it's no power there. No, it's lazy. That's his only shot right now. Right there. There it is again. There's a left hand as we head to the end of round 10.